Holy shit. Mission accomplished. The mission was to get high, by the way. Gonna start the sesh off with this sauce from Calypso. Super fucking terpy. Try not to spill any. Let's get the banger ready. All right, I'm just gonna drop a little bit right in the middle. That was my first dab of the day, kind of kicked my ass a little bit. You might have noticed I took that dab a little bit different than I normally do. This dabbing technique is called a cold start. Personally, I love the traditional technique of dabbing where you heat up the banger, let it cool down for X amount of time, and then take your dab. But if you're impatient or ever in a rush and just want to do a quick dab, this is the best way to do it. It's super self-explanatory, but there is a little bit of a technique to it, so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. First things first, when you're doing a cold start, you want to make sure your banger is completely clean because you're not going to be able to do any heat cleaning or anything like that if you're used to doing it like that. If there's any oil residue left in your banger, it'll start to leave a little bit of a black mark when you go to heat it up. So don't be afraid to get some rubbing alcohol and a couple extra Q-tips and really make sure it's clean before you load it up. This time I'm going to take a dab of this Portlandia from Calypso. That's the consistency of their sugar. That just looks fucking beautiful to me. But we're gonna get a dab tool, get the desired amount you want to take, and you really can do a glob with a cold start if you want. So don't be afraid to take a big dab if you want to. And the goal is to get it as close to the center as possible. Depending on the consistency, it's not always super easy, but with sugar and diamonds, it's usually not too hard. Now, personally, I put the carb cap on top before I heat it up. I feel like it helps you find out when the dab is ready easier. But a lot of people don't like to do it this way because the carb cap does get pretty hot sometimes because you are putting a torch right onto the banger and it's connected to the banger and heat rises. So it does get a little hot. But my mama didn't raise a pussy. So I'm not afraid of a little bit of heat. And now it's time to dab. The best way to heat this, in my opinion, is to focus on the sides and then let the oil start to melt. And then once you start to see the oil really start to bubble, wait like two seconds and then you're good to go. And don't be afraid to go a little low. It's always easier to add more heat than to take it away. You can always just put the torch on for a couple more seconds if there's some leftovers in there. But if you do overheat it and the dab's too hot, there's not too much you can do, so be careful. All right, so we're gonna get our torch and heat it from the sides. Try to get it as evenly distributed around the side walls as you can. All right, starting to melt. Wait two seconds and we're good to go. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's ready you guys. Huh? <gasps> Oh my God. <laughs> this is such a fun way to dab, it really is. Super easy. Oh my God. Damn, that Portlandia kicked my ass. You can do this on any banger, but you really wanna make sure it has good heat retention especially if you're taking bigger dabs. It doesn't need to be a mothership or anything. Personally, I use the clout bangers and I love the heat retention on them. A good bubble cap that provides a nice seal really helps too. If you don't know how to use a temp gun or a timer to get a nice temp dab, or if you just struggle to find that right temperature, this is a pretty good technique. It's very simple and it makes it much easier to get that perfect temp dab. I really can't decide which one of these consistencies I like more. They're both fucking fire. They've been kicking my ass. I'm usually not a big chem dog fan, but the chem dog from Calypso is fucking delicious. It does not have a typical chem dog flavor in my opinion. And the Portlandia smells sweet as hell. And I kind of like when there's more diamonds and just more substance to it. Obviously the live sauce is gonna be a little bit more liquidy, but I just hate when there's just so much turf and I feel like there's not enough like diamonds because that's where like the actual THC is in the high, where the sauce has great flavor and great terpenes, but like if there's not enough diamonds to complement it, it's like, what the fuck? I'm gonna do another dab of the chem dog out of the goblin face. There's really just not a lot of rocks. We'll get two of the bigger ones, ploop it in there, ploop. There we go. Now there's a little bit left on the dabber. Let's See if we can ploop it. 
Oh, bug it. All right, cap is on. Dude, my torch just like stopped working, but sometimes it'll just like randomly fucking work. There we go, see? Starting the mail, there we go. One, two, boom. Cheers, my friends. After all, talking all that shit, I burned myself. Holy shit. Mission accomplished. The mission was to get high, by the way. If you do it right, the cold start gives you a pretty nice milky hit while still providing a great flavor without making you have to wait so long. It honestly seems like a no-brainer. I'm uh, surprised it hasn't become more mainstream. I feel like so many people bitch about how long they have to wait to take a dab, but you don't really have to anymore with Cold Start. But that's the video, you guys. Click like if you learned something. Click like if you didn't either, you know? Fuck it, just click like. And subscribe for more videos, I got a lot more on the way. And leave a comment, let me know what videos you wanna see in the future. And if you need more pop porn in your life, you can basically follow me everywhere else on the internet. I'm pop porn on Instagram, I'm pop porn TV on Twitter, I'm pop underscore porn on Snapchat. Oh, and I'm also on Patreon now. If you wanna check out my Patreon, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But on my Patreon, there's a bunch of different tiers. Like you get to see my YouTube videos three days early. I'll follow you back on any social media platform you want. We even can one-on-one -on -one FaceTime, that's my top tier. One. No obligation at all. I appreciate all of you no matter what. Everyone that subscribes, everyone that clicks like, everyone that comments, I truly appreciate every single one of you. But on Patreon, there's even more pop porn. So if you need more pop porn in your life, you should really check out the Patreon. By the way, I'll be posting one video a month exclusively to Patreon. But that's the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. My name is Jeff. Peace.